Hello everyone, happy Friday, even though again you don't know what day it is because I'm probably not uploading this on a Friday but can we just address first of all what is going on with my hair, like don't know me, this is just not a good look for you, like everyone else can pull off these two pieces around the front but apparently I can't, I don't know whether it's to do with my face shape, my hair is really flat or like I just literally hate these pieces as you will know from me telling you in my previous video, so I don't know what it is, I think it's my sticky out ears, like literally I'm being so harsh on myself lately so Apologies in advance, you definitely do not want to listen to that, obviously what is that in the corner? Oh yeah, it's a pretty little thing parcel that needs returning, I need to remember to return it I bought some um, trainers on Pretty Little Thing, yes yeah, so basically I was saying I just bought some new focus camera um, Trainers on Pretty Little Thing and yeah because I didn't want to get some new Air Force because with it going into winter and stuff like that I kind of thought what's the point of getting Air Force if they're going to get destroyed I'd rather get them like more springtime and they're over 100 euro and they are quite pricey like trainers is just something that I can't justify spending usually I get them for like Christmas or like a birthday present or something like that I kind of like to get something like as a present that is quite a bit more like I don't know, just, I just prefer to do that basically. But yeah, um, I bought some trainers on Pretty Little Thing and I got a size 7, which to be honest, I'm usually, I'm like a 6 and a half. Um, I like to pretend I'm a 6, but I'm actually probably more closer to 6 and a half. Um, so sometimes I have to decide whether I'm going to size up or size down depending on the type of shoe. Also depending on whether the 6 and a half is in stock, um, sometimes I go for a 7. But I thought, with, I had some ones from Nasty Gal before and they were really small. And I'd got them in... I've got them in a seven now when I'm thinking about it and they were really small but because I got them a pretty little thing I thought their sizes would be okay but the seven again is really tight um, I think it's just maybe with the chunky trainers that it kind of does that maybe I don't know but I have to return them and get an eight which I'm I, um, I just don't know if I can do that to myself like size eight feet is massive like really really massive Um, I'll show you the trainers anyway later on but it's for Friday and I'm so excited because I'm finally through this long week um, as I was saying in my previous video as well is I've been trying to get up really early every day so like half six to between half six quarter to seven kind of time bought the dog for a walk most days there was one no two days so today I didn't go because I was just exhausted from this first full week of doing that and then on I think it was Wednesday I didn't go because yeah Wednesday maybe because it was like a lashing rain and I was like there's not a chance in hell that I'm braving that with the dog because I will be drenched and I think it was hair washing day and I just couldn't be bothered to be going to be honest. I'm just going to be honest and say it, as it is, say it as it is. Did not want to go outside in the rain so yeah. I'm in work today from 9 to half 5 as usual and I start in about half an hour or so. I'm just literally done my skincare so that's why I'm looking like a little greasy mess. Usually I'm looking a greasy mess but with makeup on so what's new here Um, yeah loving the Ole Henriks oh, I still can't say that that name Ole Henriksen I think it is Um, skincare for brightening my skin I do want to try more of their like oil um, controlling range I think they might do I'll have a look into that if anyone's tried anything that's really good for oily skin but isn't going to dry out your skin so I don't like the feel of when makeup goes on that my skin feels like dry and um, I like it to be kind of like moisture moisturized when I put it on but it's throughout the day I just struggle with oils like even if I have no makeup on I can feel oils throughout the day on my skin and I hate that feeling like because my hair gets stuck to it and my hair goes greasy and I think the reason why my hair goes greasy is because of my oily skin if that makes sense but yeah no one even really cares about this probably but my eye bags are so bad and I'm just really trying to focus on using that eye cream every single day like Holly Boone swears by that and I believe that everything that girl says so yeah I'm going to continue to use it and see how we get on like I do notice a difference when I put it on straight away if I put it on one side I can definitely notice a difference in comparison to the other side so maybe if I just keep using it constantly over and over again for a month because she said that I should see results so fingers crossed to be fair I do not use it like religiously every day no I do use it no do I no I don't like I'm just really bad at skincare like ugh. like my friend if she's watching this she loves skincare and she'd probably kill me if she knew that I wasn't like looking after my skin every day so yeah love that I haven't really got much more to tell you I don't think sorry if the lighting's really bad um yeah I'll show you what I got from pretty little thing later on I don't really have as much to do for a haul um yeah, but I'm just loving doing these little chatty videos. Like I literally missed filming YouTube videos so much that I feel like I've come back with so much like energy and enthusiasm, which 
yeah it just excites me to keep going and yeah happy october everyone can we actually believe that we're like three months left to go of this year october november december yeah why do i always forget i don't know and i just can't believe it like where has this year gone like don't get me wrong i'll be glad to see the back of it but at the same time i feel like i haven't achieved anything so yeah maybe it's just me but i'll stop rambling now and i shall talk to you in a while good evening so it actually is what time is it now i've actually lost track of the time hold on let me check oh right so it's five to five five to six sorry and i need to charge my phone um yeah why is it going up in salt water rinse that was obviously for my surgery aftermath yeah i just straightened my hair like i said these pieces are doing my head in so i've just clipped them this side isn't so bad this side i just find is a little bit thinner Um, even the clip is coming out so that's amazing clip that back in um yeah so hopefully tomorrow they sort that out with the tape and the extensions because i'm just literally losing patience with it um and it feels a lot greasier since i got it done to be fair like i don't know if anyone else got their hair done cut shorter and it felt greasier quicker like i suppose it's less if i've got oily hair or whatever there's less hair for it to like distribute down so maybe it just stays oilier at the roots i don't know that's just my theory on it at the moment but i need to put a bit of gloss on my lips because they feel really dry but yeah this is my makeup i literally just did it in like 10 minutes straighten my hair follow the tip of using a comb while straightening your hair it's probably self-explanatory to most people but not me so i used a comb while i was doing it that's like brush through and then go to the straightener and i find it just went so much sleeker than normal so happy with that little tip but yeah i just can't wait to get this fixed tomorrow i'll probably come on here and moan it is like that it's, it's not even how i wanted it still like and then i have to spend more money and yeah i'm just not one for really spending money on myself in that way like i never really get my hair done i know it's really bad because everyone needs a little bit of self-love and self-care every now and then just to kind of make you feel a bit better about yourself i need to paint my nails as well like i still haven't done that since we before we went to center park so really bad you can probably see like i don't even know why i'm showing you because nobody needs to see that not really much to say like tomorrow i'm gonna have more of like a filming day so i can't wait to get some more videos up there i have a few hauls and stuff to do so that i'm excited for i'll show you them trainers i got as well from pretty little thing just to show and see what you think okay so this is some here and they're literally like a bubble sole i think they're called wave sole actually not a bubble sole so that's them i just thought they're really nice and chunky i love this kind of detailing along the sole um don't they look massive is it just me or they look huge and i love how they kind of go out at the back you know the way kind of like a balenciaga would go out um i love that style of a really chunky trainer and for 20 quid it's not bad but the fact that i have to send it back and get a size bigger is just kind of annoying me a little bit so yeah i hate sending stuff back because everyone else just like let stuff collect in their room until it's time to like do a big trip to the post office and then you've got literally like thousands of things that you can't keep track of can't find receipts have to print them off all that kind of jazz very annoying but yeah i wish that the size excuse my tripod there <laughs> i wish the size would have fit me because it's just a bit frustrating have to having to send this back you know put the bag there have a bit of a asos delivery maybe there's a haul coming soon who knows Watch the space. Hello, my little baby. You okay? Are you waiting for daddy to come home? Where is he? Is he still in work? Did I hear the door? Did I hear the door? Hey, so we're finally in October. I just thought I would continue the vlog. I don't actually know where I left it off the last time. Like I know, I didn't pick the camera up again. But I will obviously insert that clip here. So if that just doesn't make sense, then please bear with because I just haven't been feeling great the last do i want to say like two weeks no actually probably longer like a month maybe yeah so pretty much just after i got my wisdom tooth removed i just haven't been feeling great um within myself with everything that's going on like i'm sure it's understandable with everyone as well like everyone's probably feeling this not just me but yeah i just feel like i need that big kick now like to stay productive for the rest of this year like as hard as it's gonna be we're going back into lockdown in ireland as well so that's fun excuse my hair as well by the way i haven't actually straightened it this is literally just blow dried last night and then i just took it out with like a bobbin that i had it in and um, yeah so obviously things at the moment are just a little bit all over the place but i thought i'd continue i'd film this vlog i'll continue filming this vlog just because it gives me something to focus on and takes my mind kind of off other things which is really good and also i just kind of missed it like i felt like i was neglecting my channel and for anyone that watches i do appreciate that you stick around and that you do obviously watch my content when i upload it like absolutely 
means the world so yeah i just thought i would continue today i'm working from home still still working from home and uh, so what time is it now it's about quarter past eight so i've literally been up since half six today how many i'm set for six I didn't like acknowledge it whatsoever literally just snoozed it and then went back to sleep and then woke up naturally about quarter to seven so yeah half six quarter to seven i'd say i got up which is okay it's not too bad i suppose but yeah just literally had a coffee chilled out for a little while um made michael's lunch obviously i've done my makeup and stuff just to feel a little bit more productive so it's just kind of like a natural everyday look i'm not going anywhere so that's why i thought i'd just do that but i really want to just straighten my hair before i start work just because it's just annoying me although i probably will just put it on my face to be honest but it's these bits at the front that just do my head in like i know curtain bangs are in and everything but they just don't suit me so that's why i'm not a fan yeah so i need to straighten my hair i'm just wearing this little turtleneck that i found in my like i put my clothes away does anyone else do that put their clothes away for like winter and then like forget about them i always do that like i put my summer clothes away winter clothes away and then forget about them when it comes around to that season so i forgot about this top so i literally threw it in the wash found it on the wash this morning then freshly washed and decided to put it on but i don't know how i feel about the really high loose neck i feel like i'm more of like a fitted kind of like mid neck i don't know why i'm doing that but yeah i just thought i'd wear it anyway because it's really cozy and soft i think it's only from primark as well like shock everything i own in my wardrobe is literally nearly from primark so yeah but yeah i just thought i would kind of like continue the vlog today so i hope you enjoy i hope you don't mind and yeah let me know what you've all been up to if there's any news with yourselves over this last couple of months nothing's really changed here with me to be honest i'm fully recovered now from my wisdom tooth removal i think like sometimes it can be a little bit tender still so i just have to be careful like if i eat, i ate popcorn the other day and oh my god i was in like pain afterwards because i think it's like the only way the popcorn's real small and it's got like them little pips in it i think it kind of just irritated it because it's like i don't know if it's still a hole i'm scared to look so yeah could be might not be i could just be in a big baby to be honest but yeah let me show you my dog he's literally just sat there so cute i literally love him so much. okay are you beautiful oh you are am i wrecking your head am i in your way yeah love you i love you anyone else literally obsessed with their dog like i can't leave him alone he's just so cute okay so i've literally just straightened my hair as you can see i'm looking a little bit better than i did previously when i came on earlier and um, and i have actually got my dressing gown on because i was freezing and i didn't want to put the heating on because my mom would kill me for like constantly putting the heating on but i'm always cold so i thought if i put this dressing gown on it kind of just like i'll be warmer i don't have to put the heating on but now the heating's on as well and I'm literally a bit sweating so I might take this off in a minute. I don't really have much to say really. I'm just working today so not a lot's going on. Just same old, same old. I think later on we're going to go for a walk in the evening. Not till about 8 o'clock so yeah. I'm also filming a what I eat in a day video so that will be up after this video so make sure you keep an eye out for that and um, so yeah that's keeping me entertained today they're just kind of handy when i'm at home when i'm working i can just kind of obviously film when i'm having my breakfast my lunch and then i'm finished work and having my dinner and stuff so they're just a really easy video to film whilst i am working from home so that's why i thought i would do that today but yeah what have you all been up to any the next sighting happening like i said we're in lockdown again oh i'm already like missing pennies i can't believe i didn't even and like the thing that's annoying me right i don't know if i said this already but i was in there last weekend and i saw the nicest christmas pajamas and i was like i'm going to get them and yeah so i was in pennies and i was there like i'm getting them pajamas i do not care they are so cute for christmas and then i like realized we're not even at halloween yet and it's just like the middle of october and i just could not do it i just couldn't bring myself like they were literally the biggest pile of christmas pajamas you've ever seen so obviously nobody else had bought christmas pajamas at this point because there was hundreds of them and uh i just didn't do it and now i'm absolutely devastated that i did not pick them up because when is penny's going to be open again like they say six weeks but god knows when it will be and i could have been sat at home in lockdown in my lovely christmas pajamas and instead i'm gonna have to wear some ones that probably got holes or whatever and you know the kind of way but yeah i'm gonna have to fetch i'm gonna have to like root through my stuff tonight like and find my old like last year's christmas pajamas not even christmas just like wintry pajamas you know the fleecy ones that like nice patterns and stuff like that i love but yeah 
I'm literally just like here in my dressing gown. What am I doing? I'm gonna go now because I actually have some work to do. So yeah, I shall catch you all catch you up i should catch up with you in a while so i'm just finished work and well actually i finished work about half an hour ago the dog is here so excuse any noises you hear in the background he's like dying for his b r e a k f a s t that's what we call it in our house and um, if i said that word he literally will be like run for his life so yeah i'm just not gonna say that yet but i'm gonna feed him in a minute um everyone's coming home late today from work so it's a bit depressing like there's no one here to Talk to me, bless you, bless you, my little bubba. Oh, big yawns. Um, so yeah, it's just a bit of a depressing here by myself. So I thought what I'll do is I'll prep dinner. So we're having chicken, veg, maybe just some rice or something with it like that. Maybe. Hello, hello. I know, I know. You sit on my knee. Who say hi? Oh, Jesus, where you go? Sit down, sit down and wait. He's so impatient, like seriously, so impatient. Look, Peter, you can be in the vlog, yeah? Good boy. Um, but yeah, <laughs> sorry, needy dog. As I was saying, um, yeah, I'm gonna prep the dinner and stuff like that, and then obviously when everyone's home, we can have it. I am just, I'm just tired today. I don't know what it is, it's just been a weird day, um, work-wise and stuff like that. I just feel a bit drained. So yeah, I'm probably gonna, um, have my dinner and actually know all the dinners like prepped and while I'm waiting for everyone to come home <laughs> The face on you seriously <laughs> Oh my god, what is this dog? Will you relax? Can you relax, please? We'll go in a minute, okay? Yeah, but before I was rudely interrupted rudely his eyes just make me laugh so much, bless him. Oh, his little eyes. Um, what was I saying now? I forgot. <laughs> Rico, you make me laugh. I, oh, yes. Rude to, it's rude to yawn in camera. Thank you. Enough. Thank you. That's enough. That's enough. Um, yeah, I'm probably just going to get like my makeup off, have a shower, chill out in my pyjamas, fresh pyjamas and fresh dressing gown. Well, it's not that fresh because I've worn it once now since I washed it, but... That was only this morning, so yeah, I just can't wait to chill out, watch a bit of TV. I don't know what to watch at the moment. Like, is anyone else like struggling what to watch? I watched Emily in Paris, absolutely loved it, and then I was a bit good. Felt like having a little cry when it ended. I was like, I need another series of this just to keep me going. Um, so yeah, now I'm just a bit lost, don't know really what to be watching. So if anyone has any recommendations, please let me know. Yeah, that'll be really helpful because obviously I need to something to pass the time and um, I might actually edit this vlog as well because it's been a bit all over the place and I kind of want to like get it up and then start from, start from scratch again and um, I'm gonna do some video planning and stuff I don't know I just feel like I'm getting into it again like I'm starting to like feel more productive and positive and wanting to share wanting to film and share sometimes it's just hard I think to like get the camera out on a daily basis especially if you're not feeling yourself like to be honest some days I look at myself back when I'm editing and I'm like I can't put this up just because I feel horrible. Um, but sometimes I feel that this camera does you absolutely, absolutely no favours. Like, I could look in the mirror and I'm like, right, yeah, I look a bit alright today, you know, kind of feeling myself. And then the next minute I'm on the camera, I'm like, what the hell? I think it's just the lighting and stuff. I can't work this camera out. Like, it washes me out. My skin looks grey half the time. If there's light in the room, in the room, it's affected. I'm getting the evils here now because he's hungry. We'll go in a minute, okay? Promise. Nearly finished. But yeah, so... I'm just trying to push past that whole negative thing. Like, this is me at the end of the day. This is what I look like. Um, It might be really hey, super HD camera. Can you stop wiping your butt on me? Ew. Um, super HD camera, but yeah, that's just the reality of it. And yeah, I'm going to go now because, like I said, I'm getting the evils from the dog. I actually was going to do a little workout um, this evening. I did a leg workout from Courtney Black's Instagram the other day. And oh my God, my legs are still on fire. Like... It wasn't even intense, 10 minutes and my legs are burning, so it's obviously really good. But I was thinking of doing more like an upper body one today, but I, oh, do you know what, the thought of getting my pyjamas is just a lot more appealing to me than that, but I might just force myself to do it. I'm kind of half dressed for it now, I might as well, we'll see. But yeah, I'm going to go feed the dog. Um, so yeah, I'll end today's video here, I hope you enjoyed. I feel good to be back vlogging and chatting to you. Let me know what's going on in your lives, if there's anything exciting, because definitely there's nothing exciting happening here. Um, but yeah, I want to say a huge thanks for watching as always and I shall see you in my next one. Bye!